couple of years ago, we took a deeper look at the idea again and said, okay, what would happen if we could do something that would be like ultra deep sampled in the same sense that we went from HD to ultra HD or 4K TV. And we came up with this concept of deep sampling that we would have to record everything that we normally do, meaning multi samples and layered legato and all the arcs and short notes and sustains and all that stuff that we're used to. Perhaps we'd add some arcs as well. That would be sort of modern deep sampling. But what would happen if we took a really, really difficult style of music, let's say Latin music and salsa in particular, that has a very, very unique groove and it's not stuff that you can just do with multi samples. What would happen if we have to sample that in the greatest depth so we really have the Bible collection sampling wise or ultra deep sample collection of it. And that's how Bible of Salsa came to be. The Bible of Salsa consists of three volumes. We're starting today just examining the first volume, which is about advanced legato and phrase sampling. We have another volume, volume two, that's also focused on more of that. And then we have volume three, which is all about multi samples. But we wanted to release the Bible of Cells in this particular order so you guys could get all the materials that you can't do with multi samples, all the unique phrases and ability to play them in legato and all that. And then later on, add with the multi samples. As you're gonna hear today, this first volume is fully capable of building completely realistic salsa music within full control, and you can do more or less whatever you want in it and build your own music. If you listen to the demos, you can see how diverse this library really is. I thought salsa maybe was like two different styles of music. You have your mambo and your bolero and classic salsa and all that, or Cuban salsa. But no, there's 21 different styles of salsa. And in order to ultra deep sample them, we would have to record them all. So we did. So that's why we've broken up these volumes in this particular way as well. Today we're only looking at the first volume, which covers a couple of handful of unique salsa styles. And the second volume would follow up with even more of that. And then again, the multi samples in the third volume. It's actually really hard to describe the Bible of Cells because it's so diverse and so deep and you're gonna get a little taste of that in the video today. But perhaps the best way I can encapsulate it is to borrow a line from a friend of mine, Thomas Scarby, the great sample developer, um, who once told me last summer, like the way he thought about libraries is that you wanna feel like a superhuman when you use them. Like I'm not a salsa person, I've never really scored salsa before and as you can hear in this demo, it turns out okay. Um, the library is that flexible, so it's kind of like, you know, that line in the matrix, like, I learned Kung Fu. You learn salsa when you've used this library for like 10 minutes. It's kind of special that way, actually. Um, we're borrowing some of the techniques from our choir libraries and our vocal libraries in terms of polyphonic multivowel legato. Uh, translated that into brass. There's a lot of licks you can do in salsa that you can't do with traditional multi samples like da-da-da, da-da-da. That, that style, like, it's just not great to play in the keys. Um, so in this volume alone, we have 24 deep sampled phrases that can all be combined in a multitude of ways, but they need to be short enough so you can totally control them. When you have 24 different ones, you can absolutely do that and make it totally your own ensemble. You can control each instrument for microphone positions, all that. But even that is sort of within deep sampling, I would say, even like pushing it to like modern times. But we went deeper than that. We are also like, okay, what if you want a solo with a trumpet or a saxophone or a trombone, and you're not really a great solo player on the keyboard? What if we could build this massive catalog that's tempo synced and in different keys and covering the different styles of salsa as well so you can choose the appropriate solo for the appropriate style of salsa. We did that as well. That's when we get into the ultra realm as well and you connect that with deep samples and multi samples. We're starting to get there. On top of that, we also went with percussion. We were like, okay, we can play percussion with multi samples. They sound pretty real, but there's a feel and I'm gonna talk a lot about that in this library. There's a feel in the library. Salsa has a style of music. It has a heart and a pulse and a vibe to it. That's very, very hard to mimic unless you played salsa for many years. So for this library, we had a trained salsa pianist actually playing all the piano patterns that comes with the library. We have the same thing for percussion. We had a couple of percussionists that would listen to each other and we slowly built the groove. So you have full control over every element in the percussion ensemble and there's a lot. And we deep phrase sampled every single instrument in the percussion family as well. So you could really play the ensemble and it ties in with the brass as well. So you really, really get that groove connection. And that's just hard to do when you don't do salsa for a living and you don't know how to do it. Uh, the piano is the same, there's a unique feel to it. Um, even the bass is using advanced phrase sampling as well, um, following again the groove of the ensemble. So when you listen to the demos, that's why they sound so real. Everything was cohesively made together. It's been taking us two years to create this thing and it's just been such a long and beautiful journey and we've really learned a lot. Anyway, we're gonna geek out some more inside the door. I'll see you. <laughs>
Isn't it cool? I just love when you get the DAW to actually rock. You know, it's not just a dead computer. It's actually something you're having fun with. Uh, when I play all these instruments, uh, I play them sort of pretending to be the musician. So when I play the bass, I'll get into the bass groove. When I play the drums, I'll actually feel like I'm a drummer on the keyboard and sort of play it in the same way. It's not just piano playing, but it's almost trying to emulate the feel of the instrument when you play it. Um, you know, since we're all alone, we can sit and look ridiculous doing that. The Bible of Salsa is organized into five different core instrument categories, and this goes for all three volumes, one, two, and three. We have the baby bass, we have the brass sections, and brass is divided both into unison, where you can play the whole brass ensemble, but as I mentioned as well, we have individual solo phrases for each of the brass instruments as well. So tenor sax, trumpet, and trombones. Um, we have percussion, and this is where it gets even deeper than brass. Uh, you have compact patches where you can play all the percussion grooves together, but you can also load each of the groove kits individually, and you can sort them by style as well. As mentioned in the intro, Salsa comes in 21 different core styles, so we wanted to make sure that we nail that. On top of that, we have pianos, and this is also a deep aspect of library. You can see here that we have all these different styles you can select here, and we have all the different inversions and chords you can do. This is for people like myself that are not trained Salsa pianists. All the musicians working in this library have decades of experience and there's no way I can play like a salsa player. But by having all these phrases here and all the common keys and chord variations and tempo synced, I can all of a sudden play salsa like a pro. We also have voices here, studio vocals. These are also tempo synced and we actually recorded both nasal and traditional more open vowels as well. So the ensemble can sing in two different ways. Uh, but let's just take it from above here. Uh, let's start with the very first part of the demo and maybe we should just start here with the vocals and examining uh, what you can actually do with them. Sunset, Everything you're hearing in this library when it comes to vocals and brass and all that is sampled in polyphonic legato fashion. So these are fully playable phrases. Let me just show you here on the keyboard what's down here. Sunset. And polyphonic legato is cool when it comes to voices. It's the same technology we're using for our choirs as well, but you can really have fun just with one phrase. And you have two different variations of the vocals. Let me just um, compare the nasal with the more open vowel. The demo really begins with the piano and the percussion sort of kicking it off. I'm not a salsa pianist. I've actually never played salsa before, so it was kind of funny doing this demo and it ties a little bit together with that sort of superhero analogy like, oh my God, I can play a salsa piano. The reality is that we had an awesome salsa pianist who's played for over two decades and he played every single phrase you're gonna see here across the entire key range of the keyboard. So you have all these different rhythms here with all the common chord variations and even uncommon chord variations and inversions as well. Everything is tempo synced and all that. And this is really for people like myself that are not skilled in salsa, but really want to just quickly lay down a super realistic salsa track. Let me just show you a little bit how it works here. Let's try a couple of the different styles here and some of the different chord variations and inversions. So those would be some of the different styles here. Let's go back to the cascara here and then let's try a couple of different chords and inversions. And that was just the salsa cascara here. You got it from multiple styles. We actually have a piano two patch that has other styles as well. We have two different pianos with multiple styles here and every single chord variation you could possibly dream of in the range of salsa. You can also notice down here that we actually have all the individual keys. So these are multi-sampled across all common key ranges on the keyboard here. So. I kind of like that actually. Uh, let me try to do the same thing here um, on a different rhythm. It 
it's also super nice that you don't have to sit and fiddle with quantization all that stuff salsa it's definitely not on the grid when it comes to quantizing stuff there's a unique feel in it and one of the most awesome aspects about this library and the reason it works so well and fast to use everyone is playing together like a band and one of the most amazing aspects of the library is in fact that everything has that natural groove to it so the piano here you can hear it has that unique groove once you start adding the percussion you get that salsa feel that you just can't do with multi samples and unless you're really 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 skilled it's impossible to do there's such a groove in it that takes decades to learn but right now you're the superhero we got it right on our fingertips Now, just like we had polyphonic legato for the vocals, we also have it for brass. Uh, let me just start here by going through our phrases unison. That would be the trumpet, the trombone, and the tenor sax playing all together in unison. You can adjust them here how much you want each of them in the mix. Um, you can actually isolate them completely. So, so if you only want one instrument like the trumpet or a trombone, you can do that. But let's just play all of them together right now in unison. And if you notice here, you're going to see that there's 12 different phrases here. And this actually continues to a second page. So you have 24 different fully playable polyphonic legato phrases. And imagine with volume two and volume three, you can double up on that in terms of phrases and add multi samples to it. And then all of a sudden you have the Bible of salsa. Let me just show you what a couple of these sound like um, side by side. And you can isolate each instrument in the section and even play trumpets like multiple together. And it's so cool because we got tempo sync solos and all you have to do is to use a couple of those and then play whatever chords you want. That's how I made this demo at least. So check up here, uh, the phrase is gonna start doing a little like duk duk and then the solo is gonna be playing down here and it's as easy as it looks. And there's no way around it. Let's take a close look here at the solo aspects of the brass section as well. We just listened to the brass group playing in unison. Those are fully polyphonic legato phrases, but we also have all the solos here. The solos were recorded at the sort of two chord tempos that salsa is varying between 170 to 220. Of course, this is all tempo sync as well. We have them in both major and minor keys. And if you look here on the keyboard, every single key here is a unique solo that is tempo synced and matching in different chords. So every time I click here, you're gonna see individual bangs load up here. And this is just for trumpet. Uh, let me just trigger a couple of them. And it's cool because everything is tempo sync. So even when you play keys side by side, the solo sort of follows the natural rhythm. And a good core distinction between the two major BPMs here, 170 to 220, is that you get a little more like brutal, wild energy on the 220, where 170 is a little more sort of conservative. And they're cool to use side by side, again, because they're tempo synced and really played to the rhythm. You can actually sculpt your own solos rather quickly. Um, it probably took me maybe 10 minutes to do all the solos in this demo just by sort of trying out a couple of different combinations. Like, yeah, that's good enough. And you can actually mix the licks together quite easily. Let me just show you two different phrases and then how to use them in alternative way. So two different phrases recorded in the same tempo. Let me try to mix them a little bit differently. Like these two here. And then uh, let's combine the two. 
Let's move on to the next part of the demo um, and focus a little more here on the bass. Uh, this is a baby bass. This is the most common bass used in Latin and salsa bass music. Um, it has a rich sound, but it's also tight and it just fit perfectly in the mix with the, the other instruments. Uh, let me play it first uh, with a whole group playing here and then let's start isolating it. And the bass is super flexible. Um, if you notice down here in the keys, I'm playing it right now, just a, in traditional multi-sample style, but it's actually also groove-based. So if I just hold down the keys, this is gonna happen. So you can hear it's playing like dang, dang, dang. Da, da, da. You got all those different styles here, multi-sampled across the keys. So while I'm playing it um, in a more sort of typical multi-sample fashion, you can actually also use it in a different way. Let me just try a couple of things here and a couple of different rhythms. Let's start here with the timba cascada at 170 BPM. So that's sort of, you know, the bass player is playing a rhythm. We did it for every single key. So you can either play it normally like this, or you can hold down the key and trigger that sort of natural salsa groove. Let's try a couple of the other ones here. And that's the baby bass for you. And as you can hear, there's natural grooves when you hold down the key. So play it like you would normally play a multi-sample bass, but sometimes also hold down the key to get that groove. Again, everything in this library is played together. Everything sits together. That's the way it's produced. So, so everyone follows the rhythm section and it all ties together and the brass sits tight with the rhythms, the bass sits tight, the piano, everything sits tight. And speaking of the rhythm section, let's also take a look at that. listening isolated. And let's try to break that down even further so you really get an understanding of the depth of the percussion here. First, you got a shaker, and as you can see, it has multiple uh, rhythms recorded different tempos. Of course, everything tempo synced at the library, but um, let me just trigger like one here. We also got a little bit of clave and cowbell action. So combined, those three elements created the groove. And as you can hear, even on the cowbell, it has that sort of loose kind of, it's not totally on the grid because it's a real player playing them. And you just get those nuances in the sound that you just can't get with traditional multi-samples. We have um, two different sets of congas in the library as well. Let me just show you three different rhythms here. And of course, the obligatory guido. We actually have two different types of guidos as well, uh, recorded at six different rhythm types here. And even within them, there's multiple variations. Just hear that feel. So you can see it's all tempo synced as well. Um, and you have um, multiple microphone positions. 
Another part of the UI is that we actually have additional options. Uh, if you want to control speed, you can do it here. You can gate the sounds, tune them more individually. And if you want to go more like hybrid crazy on it, you can go in here and start working with our four parallel matrices here where you can set up um, controls for any way that you really want to move effects around. It's really cool for more creative sort of sound design. And let me just give you a glimpse into what also deep sampling actually looks like. This is the directory for percussion alone. You can see we have two sets of bongos, cajons, claves, congas, cowbells, large cowbells, drums, two different guidos, and then a variety of different shakers and timbales as well. You can also load them as multis in case you want to have uh, that sort of more control of the entire ensemble. And you can also load them per style. So if the particular style that you're looking for in salsa, and again, all the different things in the library is organized the same way. So if you want your bolero or you want your salsa 200, that comes across both for bass and for brass, and piano, everything. So it's all tying together. And that's why this library has been in production for over two years. It just takes an enormous time to put this together. And it's just all these tiny things. Try to listen to the groove here. There's just a feel in these samples. It's so tight. And yet it has that loose feeling. And that's what you can't do with multi samples. That's why, hence crazy phrase sampling. I love the timbales as well. Um, this is just um, a single of the six different rhythms that comes in this volume here. Just add one more here. This is the salsa, standard salsa in 200 BPM. And this is also a good example of feel. You listen to the right hand, playing those sort of more sticky on the rim. And then the left hand doing these muted sort of syncopations is so beautiful. And here's the whole percussion ensemble playing together. There's also this last part of the demo where everything just goes crazy. And the vast majority of that is actually just a library doing its thing. I added a little bit from our Ragnarok drum kit here, which is one of my favorite libraries when it comes to just really, really heavy deep sampling. We actually did legato sampling of the simples and you can choose the snares and different stuff. Um, it's an advanced library that allows you to quickly dial in the drum sounds you want, but it's just perfect. And it's so vast that you can just get into the 40, 50,000 samples that that library does on its own. But you know, you put in context to the rest of the ensemble, it just gives it a kick. When you look at the library across, it's all about this first volume, advanced deep sampling of phrases and make them super, super playable. You know, we we're listening just to the trumpet solos earlier in this demo here, but we can also um, listen a little bit here to the tenor saxophone. And if you take just a couple of phrases more or less randomly in context of the music, I'm just playing this live here and um, just see how awesome the solo just fits. That's why it's so easy and maybe it took like 10 minutes to write all these solos because you're essentially just holding down keys and trying to combine them in new and original ways. You know, like a solo player just taking it all the way and improvising. It's kind of funny just to drop random phrases in because it sounds kind of like they're improvising, but because everything is tracked to tempo, it always somewhat seems to connect with the music. We can also do the same madness for trombone. And 
that's the true design of the library. You got baby bass, you got brass, both unison, brass solo, you got the most elaborate percussion ensemble ever sampled for Latin and salsa music. You got piano, in fact, you have two different pianos in it um, where you can select different styles and different sounds to the piano and you have polyphonic legato for both brass and vocals and all that stuff. And that's the Bible of salsa. Um, this library was actually recorded in Gali in Colombia. Some would know it for its dark references on Netflix and other people that have been to Colombia would know that it's the self-proclaimed capital of salsa. And this library to me, and it shows, this is what happens when you use people that really know what they're doing. I've never made a piece of salsa music before. The demo you just heard was like made with, you know, just clicking keys and not really knowing anything about the style of music. Um, but yet with such a flexibility and smoothness, so it's a judge use, uh, and I hope you'll use it too.